I'm Bruce Gordon, author of the book The Spirit of Attack. My first incoming video was about rockets fired at Fan Rang. This one is about a mortar attack against us in January of 1971. Fan Rang is located on the southeast coast of Vietnam, from whence we flew F-100s across Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. I was assigned to the 612th Tactical Fighter Squadron and lived in this hooch. It was a decent barracks and it had a sandbag protection around it so that if I was in my bed, I was protected by sandbags around the building. So I didn't go anywhere when the sirens went off. I just laid in my bed. Sometimes I put on my flak jacket. Our barracks area was located at the base of some low mountains, which provided excellent cover for the Viet Cong to launch rocket attacks, or in this case, a mortar attack against us. It had rained all day and degenerated into a soggy, wet night. Our air police had guard towers and bunkers around the base to protect us and to watch for enemy activity. In the middle of the night, the base warning siren sounded. I waited. I didn't hear anything and thought they were going to blow it all clear. But then they blew the warning siren again. And then I waited, and there was no all clear, and I couldn't hear any explosions. So I laid in my bunk, didn't do anything. The siren went off again. Finally, after a long period, they blew the all clear, and I went back to sleep. Later in the afternoon, we got the story. One of the air police guard posts on the perimeter had called in the middle of the night. I'm under attack, I'm under attack. They blew the warning siren and nothing happened. They called him back and said, uh, are you sure you're under attack? He says, I think I'm under attack. He says, oh yeah, he says, I'm under attack. So they blew the siren again and nothing happened. And they called him back and says, you're, you're sure? He says, yes. He says, I'm sure there's someone shooting at me. So they blew the siren again and nothing happened. No one heard anything. So finally, they blew the all clear and waited until morning to see what had happened. A patrol went out and checked on the air police post. They found five mortar rounds stuck in the mud around the air policeman's position. He'd been under attack all right, but all the incoming rounds had been duds. I heard that a rocket attack on Cameron Bay, base north of us, there had been five out of seven rockets fired in had been duds. I guess carrying those weapons down the Ho Chi Minh Trail had exposed them to a lot of bad weather and they had a real problem with duds. It must have been terribly frustrating for those Vietnamese soldiers to carry those weapons all the way down the Ho Chi Minh Trail, through all that mud and through the jungles, and then have them fail to explode. Their whole effort was wasted. 